Hello everyone, my name is John Odom and I'm a drum teacher here in Orlando. I'm actually filming today from my drummer's man cave. This is in my garage here in East Orlando. And today I want to talk to you about uh, something that um, many of my beginner students actually struggle with when we're working on stick technique and that is the rebound when you're playing the double stroke roll. Okay, so um, if to use as a reference for this for my video uh, Phil Monterano, who's an awesome drum teacher, did a really good video on the double stroke rebound. Uh, so this is one that I actually have my students watch, and it, I believe it does help them, okay? But in the video, Phil Monterano mentions, and I, to quote him, he says it's one movement equals two notes. Now what that means is it's one movement with your hand, okay? You should get your initial stroke, you get your bounce, you get your second stroke, that's your double stroke right there, okay? It's not this, this is how not to play it, which would be two movements with each hand. If you watch closely, you can see the difference between the two movements and the one movement, okay? Now, one might wonder, well, why, don't, why sh would I not wanna do the two movements? Here's the reason why, because when you start to play a double stroke roll, okay, or, or drum roll, all right, that is known as a closed roll, meaning all the notes are very close together, okay? That's a closed double stroke roll. Well, if somebody says, drum roll, please, that's the type of drum roll you're gonna play. You're not gonna play this, okay? If you play both strokes, if you have two movements, okay, or one movement per stroke to play the double stroke roll, there's a limit on how fast our hands can move. That's, that's for everybody, okay? So it's very important that every drummer be able to do this right here, that they be able to play that double stroke roll. So I'm gonna give you a couple ideas, and these are tips that I show my students that I've come up with to help them be able to facilitate this, all right? So in order to help them to get the one movement, because a lot of times when I say, okay, let's work on your double stroke roll, what, a lot of times what they end up doing is this. They will play the two movements because they know they have to get the two strokes in there. So they'll end up playing both. Well, that doesn't work. And I'll say, no, that's not right. And then I have them play the bounce roll, the multiple bounce roll, okay? Now the good thing about the bounce roll is it forces you to do one movement. A, bu a bounce roll, a multiple bounce roll rudiment is played with just one movement only. It's not two, one movement, okay? So I believe that that helps students understand and kind of, you know, get the one movement idea working, okay? Another way that you can practice this is actually practicing on a pillow. Why practice on a pillow? Well, I've heard a couple of, of well-known drummers, okay? Uh, one of them being Mike Johnston, actually, and also Mike McCalco, who's an awesome drum teacher. Uh, he actually teaches with Drumio. Uh, but talk about practicing on a pillow, okay? Uh, and what that, the idea behind that is, if you see here on my leg, all right, this is the same idea as practicing on a pillow. There's no rebound. Versus on a practice pad, you've got a lot of rebound. So if you practice on a non-rebound surface, what that can do is that helps you understand and help, help, actually helps you build up your, your forearm muscles, your wrist, your fingers, but it does actually help you facilitate, okay, the double stroke. But I believe it's really important, what's really gonna help you with the double stroke roll is the bounce roll. And actually, one thing that I've discovered while I've been teaching, you start playing the bounce roll. If you play it properly and you get your hands moving, not at a frantic pace, okay? But keep them moving at a pretty good pace. You actually start to kind of come up with a roll. Now, it may not be perfect roll. It may not be spectacular, but at least you're on the right track here, okay? You're on the right track learning how to play a roll, okay? Now, also, another rudiment that I like to have my students practice to help them work with their stick control um, is the triple stroke roll. Okay, so we go from, from the bounce roll, which is one movement. We go to the double stroke roll, rebound, double stroke roll, which is one movement. Okay. 
And then we go to the triple stroke roll, which is where we play your initial stroke, you get two bounces, then you pull the stick up. Okay? Now, one more key to this, I mentioned making sure that you're on the fulcrum, making sure you have a loose, relaxed grip, is have some momentum, especially with the triple stroke roll. Make sure you have some momentum. Now, I'm not wailing on the pad. I don't need to do that, okay? But you need to have some momentum to get two bounces after your initial stroke because I'm not going to move my hand again, okay? That's the key is my hand will not move until, I'm, until the third stroke hits, okay? So if you work on this, okay, I believe it will help your double stroke roll. So I'm teaching here in East Orlando with this, within a certain radius uh, of my house. I do travel to students' homes. I'm actually teaching with lessons in your home. So I do travel to students' homes. I also teach at Orlando Fine Arts Academy, which is a music and art school in Lake Nona on Narcusi Road. So my contact information will be on this video. So if you're interested in lessons, drum lessons with me, or even some percussion, uh, please give me or get in touch with me. Uh, please like the video uh, that you're watching. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, when that little bell icon uh, pops up, go ahead and click on all for notifications because I will be filming more lessons in the future. Thank you for watching today. Hope you have a great day and happy drumming.